Hey guys, I want to make another video today and I want to talk about scaling text in Unity with Text Mesh Pro. Now, I made a few other videos uh, before about the UI system in Text Mesh Pro in Unity. So if you guys like these types of videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. And this way I'll know you guys like these videos, I can keep making them. Anyways, from here, I, in the last videos I talked about an input field, I talked about a button. Right now I want to talk about scaling the font size here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my canvas, I'm going to go to right click, and I'm going to go to UI, and let's make a text-textmesh pro. And let's go ahead and move, let's name this something like title text. Let's move this to the top so it makes the most amount of sense here. And let's go ahead and anchor this to the top from there. And we'll say something like minus 100. That looks pretty good from there. Um, now, whenever you're working with UI stuff in Unity here, remember that's really important for the player, but it's also, it's important to keep in mind what the player is also kind of like, how are they using this game here, right? With different monitors and different resolutions, this might scale differently. If I go to my game window here, and this is in free aspect, if I move this all around, things might start to get kind of cut off or messed up from there. So in my canvas, what I want to do, instead of saying constant pixel size, I'm going to scale with screen size. And I'm going to give this a reference resolution 1920 by 1080, 1920, not 10,000, 1920. Now we can talk about this more and more. I'm gonna, definitely gonna go back and make another video on the canvas scaler, but right now that's just something I like to do whenever I'm setting up my canvas from here. Let's go back to the scene view and let's go back to title text and let's make this bigger. I'm gonna hold shift and alt on my keyboard. This way it kind of scales properly. And why don't we make this minus two, minus 125 and the height will be 250. The width will be 1920, 1920, there we go. And then we'll go ahead and center this here, center. We'll make it bold and let's make it size, I don't know, 72, something like that there. Cool, I wanna say something like welcome to the super game. Now this doesn't look too bad from here, um, but let's pretend that maybe in game here, maybe I have some instructions or maybe I want to change up the title menu or maybe I have hints happening or maybe I have some type of network request where I make the user sign in or different things like that. If I change the text on this text input, or excuse me, the text here, um, it might not scale properly here. So I wanna be able to control the font size as I change out the text from here, right? That seems like something logical that you might wanna do in your game. So let's check that out. Let's see what we, how we can do this from here. Let's go to project. And then you'll see I have a script that's already in scene here. It's on the game manager. And I have a few different things here happening. What I'll do is go ahead and comment. Uh, let's comment on all of these because I don't need them for right now here. Comment out this too. And then finally we'll comment out this stuff from here. Now one of the things that's important to keep here, I'll tell you what, I'll just go ahead and remove it. You guys didn't see anything here. The namespace I want to use here is saying using TMP Pro. A lot of people make the mistake of using the Unity Engine UI. And that does work if you're just using basic UI stuff, but if you're doing a text mesh pro object, it's not the same thing. It's not going to link up properly here. So what I'll do from here is I'm going to set up a serialized field, serialized field, and let's just go ahead and call this um, text mesh pro, text mesh pro, UGUI, and we'll say something like title text. And we'll go back to our Unity window, and we'll go ahead and sync up those variables. So game manager. And we'll wait for that to uh, reload. And we'll go and drag in our title text to this variable from here. So now this is synced up properly, right? If I change something on here in the script, it should change up this uh, game object too. So on the start here, what I'm gonna say is title text dot font size. And it was equal to 72. Let's make it a little bigger now. Let's make it equal to 100. And let's go back to our game here and let's see the font size change. And we'll see, wait for it. Boom, it gets bigger. And we can prove that too. If we go to title text, we'll see that the font size was increased from there. And like I said, this might be important if we change out the text to be something different. If there's more text or less text in the scene here, it might get cut off. So it's important to be able to control the font size based on your script from here, right? So, to sum up here, the things you need in scene here is using TMP Pro, you need a reference to the variable, of course this could be public if you want it to be instead of serialized field, and then it's title text dot font size. If you go by game object instead, I mean something like game object, another way to go about it, and that's fine, you would have to say title text dot get component, text mesh pro, 
UGUI, and then font size from there. And that's a method. Right, same thing here, but this time we're getting the game object, and then we're going into the component, and then we're going into the property on that component here. Almost like a file file hierarchy or file structure, right? You're kind of going, dropping down. All right, save. Back to the scene here, and we should see it work the same exact way. And let's hit play. Uh, I'm sorry. One thing that we have to do here, since we change up the type of the variable, we have to drag this back in here. Boom. And then hit play. And we'll see that the font size, same deal, change just like before here. And if I stop the game, we'll see it goes back to 72. So if you guys learned something, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.